tongue-eating sea louse. We begin with this creepy-looking isopod found deep within the ocean. It starts its life as a male and swims into the gills of a fish so it can develop. Once it does that, the sea louse will literally change its gender into a female and climb up the base of the fish host. It will latch onto the tongue with its legs and stay there for the rest of its life. The louse will feed on blood within the mouth and drain all of it from the fish's tongue. Once that happens, the tongue will fall off and be replaced with a pseudo, the louse. But it still needs the fish alive, so all it eats are small bits of food within the mouth. Finally, a male from the gills will mate with it from inside the fish and continue this weird cycle. Usually, this parasite only does this with snappers, but up to seven other fish species have been found with the louse, and they might start affecting more in the future. Human botfly. This thing is definitely the worst nightmare of many. It's an insect that injects its mature eggs into other insects, like ticks or mosquitoes. Once this happens, those bloodsuckers will infect any mammal they get into contact with, like humans. Those botfly eggs will live inside the body for a short amount of time, until the quick change in temperature will cause them to hatch. This larvae will travel through the skin and cause it to harden, along with some painful oozing. These maggots will remain inside for up to three weeks, feeding on tissue and whatever else they can find. They leave the body through the pupil cases and start the cycle all over again. They tend to not affect humans too much, since they mainly are found in Central and South America. The procedure to remove them involves cutting the skin and pulling them out, surgical style. Loa Loa Worm Also known as the African Eye Worm, they are found throughout that continent's rainforest. This is due to the deer fly found within most regions of West and Central Africa. Once infected, you will see little symptoms. All you will see are the occasional swellings that come up and go, but the larvae of the fly, the worm, will travel through the body over the course of many days, yet you will definitely see it when the loa loa pops up in your eye to call it home. Yes, this creature will swim around your eye, once causing some infections. The only way to treat it is through surgery, most notably by opening up the eye and removing it. But things get more complicated if it is found in other areas around the body. Also, the infection it causes will remain unless that is treated as well. Leucoc loridium paradoxum. Usually, this parasite only affects gastropods, like snails and the like, but they tend to affect other species as well through their life cycle. It starts with a snail eating the eggs of this flatworm, which grow inside. They form in the stalks, where the snail's eyes are, making them appear different. To birds at least, they look like caterpillars and will try to eat them. These worms may also force the snail to move out into the open, more likely to be preyed upon. And once that happens, the cycle continues, until they are released through droppings which other snails might eat. Kandiru Fish Living in the depths of the Amazon rainforest, this creature is actually quite small, at only 5 centimeters, but it actually makes it more horrifying, since that size allows the fish to reach some very sensitive areas. They get inside people when taking a leak near a body of water. Once you start, the kandiru will swim up your urine stream and launch its spiny body up your urethra. It's been described as a very painful experience, as it sucks the blood and makes its way towards your bladder, and once that happens, inflammation, and possibly death will occur. So as some cringe inducingly point out, the only way to stop it is by cutting off your dick. But for us men, that's one hell of a sacrifice. Australian Paralysis Tick While incredibly similar to other species of ticks, this one has more harmful side effects. Located in various parts of eastern Australia, this bloodsucker will attach itself to various mammals, especially humans, with humans, they can cause various allergic reactions and other more potent symptoms. If not removed soon enough, effects will include rashes, weakened limbs, flu-like symptoms, anaphylactic shock, and partial face paralysis, as the name suggests. While easy to spot due to the pain, children are the most susceptible due to lack of knowledge. There are, of course, various treatments similar to removing a normal tick, along with various chemicals needed to kill it. Cordyceps fungus. With over 600 variations out there all over the world, this is definitely the creepiest species here. They came to light with the Planet Earth series two decades ago, 
with footage showing the fungus infecting ants. How it works is that whatever insect or anthropod that comes into contact with it will be taken over completely at will with the parasite inside them. Its goal? To slowly kill and make sure more fungi are spread to others in the species. Sometimes, the cordyceps will even have them move to higher ground, ensuring the spread. The fungi will spread out of the head and to other areas of the bug in some of the grossest ways possible. Usually though, this only happens in certain Asian countries with vast jungles. On the bright side, the cordyceps helps ensure that populations stay moderate and seemingly can be used in medicine. Brain-eating amoeba While the name is scary, the single-celled species doesn't actually eat your damn brain, but instead, it causes other harms to the brain that have caused death. But the chances of this are actually rare, with the Centers of Disease Control pointing out that only 34 people have died from it between 2008 and 2017. Yet still, those who are infected by the amoeba go through lots of pain. It's usually found in warm bodies of fresh water, along with other forms of H2O, like improperly chlorinated pools. They travel up your nose and reach the brain, where they cause symptoms like fever, nausea, severe headaches, loss of balance, seizures, hallucinations, and possibly death. But again, all of this is actually rare, but the minority who get it are just incredibly unlucky.